Welcome back. You're watching Yawn. Y-A-W-N. Here's a quick recap of what you've missed. I dream the dream of time gone by. You sleep a lot. So what? God loves me so much because my name is Joseph and I'm a miracle child. <laughs> you don't understand. God gave me these dreams. So you think you're going to rule over all of us when our dad dies? Who do you think you are? Well, I have a right mind to... Now let's tune in and see how the story is developing. Hey, brothers. Look over there. Jokes is coming. Ugh, his little miss perfect sneer makes me want to go out and shoot a deer. Gentlemen, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just here checking the progress that has or hasn't been made. Let's see. The oxen have been hamstrung. Simeon and Levi, no doubt. Money spent on miscellaneous items that will come out of your paycheck. Ugh, whereabouts, goodness. You're in Dothan. You're supposed to be in Shechem. You're 20 miles in the wrong direction. The father will have to hear about this. Well done on the... Um... Progress you've made, I suppose. If it can even be called that. Keep up the good... Um, the, uh... The work. Gentlemen. Services. Keep up the good work for daddy. I can't stand him. That's it. Father finds every opportunity possible to tell us that he cares about him more than us riffraffs. And then for him to walk around and say, mm, I had dreamed that your corn will bow down to my corn. That we would bow to him? Nah, -uh. not that pompous, spite-faced, little nerve-hurting rascal. I for one say, no more. No more, Joseph. As if we care what goes on in that ignorant, pompous, little squirt's mind when he's asleep. It's hard enough sharing oxygen with him when he's awake. We could just kill him, you know. Dad aside, no one would notice he was gone. No one would mourn him. No one would grieve him. No one would care. Benjamin would care. Reuben might, too. He's quite soft on the child. Benjamin is four. His feelings aren't real. And let me handle Reuben. Yo, Joey. We've got something else for you to complain about, you tittle-tattle. Kill the creep! Hey! What's the matter with you? Give me a coat. <laughs> it's mine now, Joseph. Give it back. I've got his legs! Here, throw him down the well! Oh, I hate him! Get your man! Oh, he's a scanger! Get him! <laughs> and that's the story of how Joseph died. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Thanks, Narrator One. Help! Wow, the acoustics in here are amazing! 
Not all the brothers wanted Joseph to stay down there and die, though. His oldest brother, Reuben, intended to come back later that night and rescue Joseph from the well. However, he was too cowardly to do it when his brothers were around. So he left Joseph down the well to suffer an even worse fate. Being human trafficked to Egypt. You see, some Ishmaelites, a hairy crew, came riding by. Then the Ishmaelites galloped off with a slave in tow, off to Egypt, where Joseph was not keen to go. <laughs> it wouldn't be a picnic, he could tell. And I don't speak Egyptian very well. Joseph's brothers tore his precious multicolored coat. Having ripped it up, they next attacked a passing goat. Soon the wretched creature was no more. They dipped his coat in blood and guts and gore. Then convinced their father Jacob that Joseph was dead. 